video. You join me today back in the M140i with all of the updated mods now fitted. You guys have already seen all of those videos. Um, I am over the moon with how this thing is looking and sounding now. Uh, it's unreal, absolutely unreal. But anyway, today I am off to see um, another M light actually, an M240i. Now up to now I've experienced pretty much every single variant of the BMW M light apart from the M240i. Um, and the one I'm going up to see today is actually very similar to this in terms of power. Um, so that's gonna be quite interesting. The car is owned by a chap called Reese. Of course, I will leave his Instagram link down in the description like I always do when I feature someone else's car. Um, but yeah, normally for these types of videos, I kind of start it when I'm already at the location um, and right in front of the car. But due to the similarities between them, I thought it'd be cool to, um, to kind of start it a little bit early um, when I'm in the car heading up because it is still quite similar. Dead underpass. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I haven't got too much of a journey, probably about 40 minutes or so. Um, so yeah, we'll, um, we'll switch the camera over now. There we go. And then uh, we'll cue the time lapse. Never understand. As I said, I am early. <laughs> no worries. Right, we'll um, we'll wait for for him to turn up. I'll show you the car, and then we'll get straight on into the main part of this video. But I'm super excited to see this because, like I said, I've never spent any time with an M240i, at least as far as I can remember. Um, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay, Ooh, these seats are certainly a lot harder to get out of than the original ones. Anyway. Here we go, 140 and 240. Right, let's run some B-roll of this thing. I'll introduce you to Reese, the owner, and then uh, we'll go have some fun with these two things. Okay, so this is pretty cool. We've parked both of the cars head to head, which actually looks pretty interesting. But anyway, Reese, the owner who is here, welcome to the channel. You're all right. um, he's gonna give us a little bit of a walk around of the car because I think, well, it's definitely not stock of it. <laughs> so um, it's running stage two, right? Stage two, yeah. Yeah. With wrench. With wrench. It's running, I had it dynoed at pretty dodgy dyno. Um, it weren't, I can't really say it was the best, to be honest. It said 421 at the wheel. So that equates to like, we've lost 490, but I can't imagine that. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're all different, aren't they? Exactly, but exactly, yeah. It is what it is, but it depends on how they drive, really. That's what, what matters, isn't it? Mm. It's how they drive. So all I've done to the car is some exterior bits, um, wing mirror caps. I'm looking at getting the whole unit, but for now, just a cap. The, they're aftermarket vinyl side skirts. They're not the original BMW ones. I put these little carbon bits here. I'm not too sure about them, but I, I kind of like them myself, so I'm gonna leave them for now. Got the CS style spoiler, this carbon diffuser, which someone nicely hit me up the arse and made a little gap there. Um, got an M Performance back box on there with the carbon tips. Um, to be that much, that's pretty much it with the exterior styling. You got a four and a half inch custom downpipe from Wrench, K&N panel filter, PSH intake hose, gets rid of the little resonator on the intake pipe. Upgraded spark plugs, gap to 022, which is meant to be the between 018 and 022 for these cars is usually best, I've been told. It's quite like a picky thing to do, but it's always best to do it. Um, I've had an XHP stage three gearbox flash on the car, which made a massive difference, a huge difference. That was from the fine coding. They've done that along with the Apple CarPlay on the 
on the on the oh, unit. Oh sweet. So going back to good. that gearbox flash. That's something which I've been meaning to do. Get it done. So it'll be good to, Get to experience done. that. You know what, because there's a, there's a torque limit on the original gearbox, which I didn't know about. Okay. And I don't know if you've experienced it, going from second to third, the revs climb. Yeah. Really like it's like a clutch slip. That's what it feels like. If you had a manual, it's like the clutch yeah, is slipping. Yeah, yeah. The revs climb and you don't actually have no power from it. That's because of the gearbox having a torque limit out. Mm. Remove that gearbox torque limit out with the flash, then that disappears and it's instant then. Sweet. Yeah, because I've noticed on mine that the gear shifts are a bit like yeah. Now it's, delayed. it actually changes the car. Like, right. It's one of their modif. It's one of the modifications I could say like is definitely worth it. Like the spoiler is yeah. nice, but that changes the, the yeah, actual the, feeling the of driving the car. Sweet, and then the right. noises as well, the downshift, upshifts. Yeah, you were it saying drastically changes them. Because I'm assuming because of the response time. Yeah, yeah, that's but, it. Because there was a huge delay on the on the original. There is. There's a tiny bit of a delay, but I just think that's the ZFA. Yeah. Yeah, but I can say it's a lot more responsive than it originally was yeah. beforehand. That's definitely something which I need to do. Other than that, that's pretty much all you've done so far, right? Yeah, that's it. Pretty much. You've got a lot of plans for it though, it's just speaking off camera. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's got to be done, but step by step, baby steps. Yeah, man. I don't want to do nothing too quick. Sweet. Well, um, I think what we'll do, we'll, um, we'll fire up, we'll leave the 140 here for now, and uh, we'll go, uh, go for a little drive. <laughs> oh, mate, it's quick. Great cars though, aren't they? Really reliable. Yeah. I've had tuned other cars and run into problems on yeah. the home. But seriously, straight after? Yeah, like oh, I tuned my S1 yeah. and the clutch went within about nine minutes of driving from the garage. No way. They are known for weak clutches, but not yeah. that, that weak. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to my car now, 
I'm running to similar power, obviously. I didn't realise how fast this is. Because it, it's been a while since I've experienced a stage 2, 140 or 240. They are quick. They're very quick. Very, very quick. Yeah. Even more about suspension. Never understand the things that we want